The land that I'm standing on was formerly owned by RCA, or Radio Corporation of America. But back in 1952, it was bought by an azucarero named Don Jorge Amado Araneta and became the premier entertainment center of the capital. Ako po si Carlos Celdran. And this week's episode of Cuentong Canto is about Araneta Center. This place was strategically positioned at the transportation hub of the busiest part of the country's metropolis. Kaya madali itong puntahan. And that's why it's a perfect spot para maging pasyalan. At ang kauna-unahang istruktura na pinatayo dito ang pinakamalaking indoor coliseum sa Southeast Asia, the Araneta Coliseum. It started as a vision of Don Jorge Amado Araneta. He wanted to build something inspired by Madison Square Garden of New York City. He wanted something extraordinary, something spectacular, na madaling putahan ng mga ordinaryong Pilipino. Kaya noong 1957, Sinimulan ng inconstruct ang Araneta Coliseum. But the year 1959, natapos ang construction ng facility. The name Big Dome was given as it reached 108 meters in diameter and occupied a land area of 2,300 square meters. The Coliseum opened on March 16, 1960 with a boxing event featuring Gabriel Flash Elorde fighting for the World Junior Lightweight Crown from American Harold Gomez. 80 centavos lang dati ang general admission at simula noon, naging patok na sa tao ang Araneta Coliseum. Another popular boxing event was held in this place after 15 years. <laughs> Dito ginanap ang Thrilla in Manila featuring Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier noong October 1, 1975. The bout was ranked as one of the greatest fights in the 20th century. At nang manalo si Ali laban kay Frazier, he said that there is going to be a mall built right next to this dome. And Ali Mall was built one year later. Bukod sa boxing, dito rin ginaganap ang games ng Philippine Basketball Association or PBA, which is the longest running professional basketball league in Asia. Maging a National Collegiate Athletics Association or NCAA, at ang University Athletics Association of the Philippines or UAAP ay dito rin ginaganap. Aside from sports, local and international beauty pageants were also held in this glamorous coliseum. From 1962 till 1999, a total of 45 local beauty pageants took place here. Among them, the most prestigious Binibining Pilipinas pageant. Ilan pang world-class happenings and performances ang nangpasiklab sa lugar na tulad ng concerts ni Paul Anka, Nat King Cole, America, Manhattan Transfer, Duran Duran, at marami pang iba. And in 1999, the Araneta Center underwent a 250 million peso renovation program to keep its place as a premier entertainment district of the city of Manila. Ako po si Carlos Saldran, and this is another episode of Kwentong Kanto.